All right, we called this meeting uh, this week because we didn't have a quorum last week. So first thing, we'll here, uh, wasn't here. vote on the minutes of last month's meeting. Um, yeah, last month's meeting. Okay. Do we have them? I didn't print. I do. Out. I if anybody needs it. Okay. I'll entertain a motion for last month's meeting minutes. A second. second. No. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, second thing we need to do is, uh, Kip and I met a couple of times and Zach gave us his list of equipment and furniture and we came up with a rough estimate of $50,000. We felt comfortable with spending up to that amount. And the funding for that would come out of Fairly surplus. Um, it's your operating yeah. reserves. Operating yeah. reserves. <coughs> Can we ask what that includes? Um, the what we do, what we are, what we had suggested, is um, because it, it we're a separate enter enterprise kind of fund. In other words, you can't go back to the towns for more money unless we have special town meetings in all three towns. So we had set aside a hundred thousand dollars to um, carry us through um, if, say, for some reason, random reason, we haven't, we didn't get any calls or we had all Medicaid, Medicare pickups instead of, you know, our usual mix of private insurance. So this would carry us through a, some kind of drought in our, rev our revenue receipts because they, they lag behind and whatever. So the idea was we had always just carried over this hundred thousand dollars, that is similar to the reserve fund on our, our financial, um, mm -hmm. our finance committees in our towns. So that's kind of how it operates. So, um, it we have literally eight weeks left, just about of of the fiscal year. So, it was my recommendation that we use our reserve funds. Of up to fifty thousand dollars because that's a sort of the ballpark figure, yeah. Um, and that we really wouldn't have a that way there would there would be no messing around with what the money we had set aside for the ambulance and that we would have right. to mm -hmm. pay double in the next couple of years or whatever. We would just do this because then what happens in the fall? We only have to make it to the fall and then our free cash is certified again and we'll know how much um, we have to play with for the you know, coming budget year, but our, and, and then we will get a new um, $100,000 reserve from our, um, you know, new operating year, we start a new budget. So we should be fine with money. I mean, <coughs> even if we had to, you know, not carry 100 next year and carry 75 at worst, you know. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I feel like we're starting, July 1st will give us the whole, our, you know, whole budget for year. the whole year. We'll have free cash certified by September. So, I mean, shape. we really, we're in really good shape. We've been very conservative because we don't have much, I mean, we only have a couple of years of, of track record as a entire entity. And, and a, you know, we were shifting over <coughs> from that earlier. So, I mean, I feel very comfortable with this mm -hmm. and I feel like we're in pretty good shape. Yeah, and it, it would be for uh, basically anything that's not bolted to the building, mm -hmm. we're going to have to supply. Um, so this is everything from a stove to the floor mats to the I lamp mean, to the tables to the chairs. So you're going to have to get a generator, you're going to have to get a so, system for the garage. Yeah, yes. so the, the two big capital ex expenditures will be the generator and the exhaust system. So those would be bid and approached as a capital expense and would go in from the capital committee. What we're talking about here is all those miscellaneous stuff and then um, like the telephones and security and things like that, the, like the locks and stuff like that. And, and that is what we estimated to be under that $50,000, so. Did we, um talk about any capital as far as technology. I mean, you have a laptop, obviously. Yeah. Do we have other IT stuff going in, or do we need to purchase any other IT? I mean, I'm sure it's outfitted with Ethernet. And yeah, exactly. So, I mean, we'll need, we'll need some computers, printers. you know, and, and things like that. Those individual items 
aren't capital expenditure right. items. And um, I just didn't know what you had figured for setup on that stuff. Is um, yeah, not. I don't anticipate a, a large expense on that. I think the right. initial outfitting of everything is going to be our biggest expense. Right. Um, you know, and, and we have other money budgeted for you know replacement printers and things like that. So okay. um, this really is the the this unanticipated expense mm -hmm. stuff. Okay. Generator was included in that fifty thousand dollars. We thought we have enough money to. Oh, do we think? I think that generator is going to run us like thirty thousand. No, I don't think so. Based on size and, and all that stuff. Uh, how big no. generator you looking for? I I don't know. They're, they're going to supply it, but that's what I originally was like worst case scenario estimation based on. Who's no. no. Airfield supply. <laughs> Nobody's supporting no. They're going to show gonna, it. But. DA is going to provide the information as far as what, what the capacity needs to be in the specs and things okay. like that. Okay. So I don't have that information yet, so I don't even have an idea. Um, yeah, right. You didn't think that um, <laughs> No. If it can be in that 50, that's great. That's great. I just Perfect. wasn't. Yeah. I don't know what they cost. Oh, but the, I put a whole house from, what, my house from the information that I, I got on it, the, the generator itself should only be about eight to nine thousand yeah. dollars. And uh, what? The transfer well, switch. What, what did yeah, we budget the town for? Because yeah, of the twelve thousand dollars. Yeah, think so. You're not, you're, you're not, you're not powering every light and every function. Emergency generator, emergency generators, emergency light, emergency lighting. Yeah. You know, you wouldn't power your stove. You, well, you, this would talk. <clears> uh, is it really? a 12, 12 k generator, a propane one? You do a uh, 12 kW? Yeah. I put 11 k at my house, and it cost me about four grand for total. All installed everything. Great. That's great news. I know. <laughs> right. That was great. I, if, yeah. If it's, if it's going to cost us that little, then that's awesome. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't have any numbers on it yet, so I'm not going to. Yeah. It's like insurance. Yeah. 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 But yeah. It, you know, most of those systems now, they're not like you said, Kip. They're not that expensive. No. You know, and and buildings switch are switch getting a lot more energy efficient now. Transfer right? switch like 200. We so don't have a lot of big I, I, yeah, stuff I was just say, I looked through that Northern Hydraulics and came out with a, a Generac book that had a, 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 a Honda motor on it as well. And it, it, had, it came <coughs> with a, a 200 amp you know, gen, a switch and everything like that. And you said that was so about eight, 8 grand? Yeah. Great. Yeah, and then the pad, I assume, would already be the there. Pad's the pad's already there. And then the wiring's the, done already. It's all there. You know, okay, so the it's just the generator itself. The okay. I was just thinking of our town hall yeah. and what we're doing there, and that's all a new pad, right, and the wiring. We'll have to look at that again. Based on that information. So. Okay. so I'll entertain a motion for... Make a motion to approve the funding of the reserve funds. for I think we did. I thought we did two months ago, but... They said we didn't, so that's why we're here. One of the reasons tonight. Yeah, I know you second that. That, that was that was the night you were gone. Yeah, and they said that no, Funny. it didn't get happened. Why? So we voted that. <laughs> I don't remember voting that. Let me tape. check my book. Look at the tape, because uh, whatever. Anyways, can I have a second? I'll second. I'll second. second. <laughs> Any further discussion? Nope. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Again. Opposed. <laughs> Okay, and the last thing we got to entertain, it's the end of the year and we haven't done Thanks this game again. Yeah. Days so schedule. <coughs> just a recap, when we went from FY17 to current FY18, we changed um, class comp scales. <coughs> and the town of Deerfield wanted a formal vote of the boo as far as what my scale should be then without just taking my word for it. Um, and that never happened specifically. The BOO voted the budget, which included the line item, but um, town administrator over in Deerfoot wanted a formal vote. So now that we're approaching, so nothing was changed for FY18, now that we're approaching FY19, <coughs> the same problem's gonna happen. Um, so that is the uh, proposed salary rates. You'll see if, um, at the end of last year, we voted the 3606. Which was the wrong Which map. was? Which, which was the old? It, no, I don't even think the boot voted it. There was no vote made oh, on, no. yeah. So that was just, 
but that's what you're at right now. Right, which is the FY17. So we're in almost at the end of 18. I, I, I could I could give you that number right off the top of my head. Well, I know we talked about that, 36. I know we did. Yeah. It was well, that's where the, he's old, at. the old comp schedule was 3607. <coughs> Zach should have been on the new comp schedule for 2018. Or, you know, 2017, which was 36.11. He was shorted five cents an hour when we shifted. It, I know, but no, 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 you, no it, yeah, I think you're confusing things. FY17, everybody was on the old scale. Right. Period. Yep. FY18, we transitioned all the employees except for me. So I'm still on the old scale at my FY17. So we transitioned everybody for FY18 and now FY19. <coughs> Is here, right. and that should have been thirty six eleven. If well, if we the if we had applied the same rules to me as we did all the other full timers, it actually would have been thirty seven fifty five. Right, because you would have gotten a step, and you never it's, got the step, and you were right. on the old scale. Right. So it was, you never you. What we did is we gave you a raise. Uh, Trevor wrote it down, but we gave. We gave you a raise to step eight, but it was a step eight at 3606, which was the old scale. It should have been step eight at 3611. And then, because by the time we got that all messed up and looked at, you should have been, last year, you should have been bumped up to step nine, because you've been here long enough, you were at, should have been at a step nine, which was 3755, which we, which we budgeted but you never received. So what he's proposing, all he wants is the 3755 for the remainder of this year. And mm -hmm. motion FY19 go to 3978 where everybody else is. Which would be where he's supposed to be at step 10, the top. Correct. Yes. And then he's talked out. Then he's out. done, he's talked out. And um, no more reasons. <coughs> and then we are correct. 39.78 is the correct amount. Tom just made a motion. Do we have Second. further discussion? Just to, to pay this year. This is just for the first. We're going to start. We've got to do one year yeah, at a time. But time. Yep. Everybody follow where we're at? Yes. <coughs> okay. All in favor? All right. All right. All right. Just to be clear, just so there's no mess up, you all just voted to give Zach his step increase that should have been July 1st of 2017 to be effective, what is it, what's this, we're already on this pay scale. The next pay scale. It'll be, well the, the Deerfield Select Board will have to yeah. do vote work. to the, do it. So when, but when is the pay, it should be effective in this, um, <coughs> this pay period is, ends this Saturday. The new okay. pay period begins on mm -hmm. Sunday. So the, the new, new pay period. period, so it needs to be effective, the new pay period. So you're getting your step, but it's only for this pay period till the end of the year. Correct. Okay, and so this is what should have happened back in July, but it never did happen because we messed up. Or so exactly, you keep this for all the year. These steps and everything. Are you the one that make the recommendation to the uh, to the town of Deerfield? How, how was that done? I think the board of oversight should make that recommendation. It has to be the board of oversight. The chair of the board of oversight for Zach. For Zach. But Zach does his people. Right? I'm asking about the people, Trev. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm asking about no. I'm asking them. about the people because if we screw up Zach, how do we know we are screwing up somebody else? I, the people. Uh, the because I work with Wendy and the personnel committee to make sure that we're whatever the recommendation is that yeah. is being applied. So I, I calculate it, submit it to Wendy. She double checks my work. The personnel committee double checks my work, and then it goes to the select okay. board for annual yeah. Okay. yeah. I, I just want to make sure that we don't. Yeah. Um, and it was just the conflict of interest why mine wasn't. Yeah. Not sure. yet. He wasn't involved, and it got it was screwed up on our part as the town of Deerfield. Okay. So we need to right. vote. Everybody, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Yeah. Okay. 
to come before the board tonight? Well, well that, was, do the, that was the, the next. Part. We need to do the, the second part, With which a recommendation is recommendation for FY19. Is what we uh, need to I do thought that. that was part of that. Okay, a recommendation for FY19. I'll entertain for. You'll entertain. Grade step ten. six. Or step or ten or at thirty nine seventy eight. And that's based on the recommendation and the what every all the right. other full time staff are director Smith, right? See where we're at. Mm -hmm. Okay. Motion. Motion. Second. Any further discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. 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 So in the future. The, co the COLA is what's being recommended by the Town of Deerfield Personnel Committee? Yes. Yes. Okay. To the select board. To, to select the BOS, board. right. Yeah. Can I make a suggestion, though? It, yes. It, it, I understand how the process goes, and I have no problem with this board discussing it. But it, in the past, it really <clears throat> seems like it's made it complicated if this board doesn't agree with the Personnel Board of Deerfield the Finance Committee mm -hmm. in that I would argue that they're pretty fair going forward, so mm -hmm. I don't think that we need to make a policy rule here, but could we kind of have an understanding that we just follow the, I think the, we're what there. comes through Deerfield and just let it be at that? I, I think we're yeah. there now, finally. I do too. Because yeah. yeah. we, was we had to fix the comp scale for right. last year, and this is right. one of the reasons we messed but up. But Kim does bring up a good point because we then decide, and he's probably talking about the COLA, right? Or if we, you know, if well, we have a COLA. And I think staff, we just need to do it as a formality to vote that sure. director's salary, and he does the recommendations for the rest of his personnel. But what I was getting at is maybe Sunderland or Waitley, they might not, give, agree might with not give their uh, employees a cost of living and, and feel like it's being forced on them. Right. But, you know, we, we have this, and if, if we don't follow this, we're always going to be, you know, um, some you know, at each other, you know, like how come this, you know, we can do it here, we can do it there. Yeah, you know, that's true. I, you know, and Waitley does it different. I've talked to John, and I don't know how Sunderland works it, but is that a, is that okay with the two other towns? Can we follow Deerfield's recommendation, or, or, or would you guys would we rather have a vote here every year? I, 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 I understand what you're saying, Kip, and, and I appreciate what you're saying. The, the, the only problem I have is that is that when we get a um, <clears throat> school frontier COLA and we don't really ever discuss that because that's already yeah. that's a negotiated when when we do a FERCOG I mean I I argue um, to no avail uh, a few years ago the FERCOG gave out a two or three two two and a half three percent increase to everybody where I think all of our towns, all the towns in Franklin County were giving zero. Mm -hmm. And I argued, say, well, why are we giving, and, and, and then there was thing, well, we have, if we don't, we're better off giving, we spend less money by giving more money, or some, some kind of argument like that. Though I, I haven't figured it out yet. So, so I, I think we should probably talk about it, but I, I kind of agree with you. I mean, it's, it's an assessment, it's to, when he goes to do his assessment. budget next year, he's going to get those figures, sure. whatever they are, right. from the right. town of Deerfield. Right. So, right, it's just a formality. Yeah, since it's it's a simple assessment, assessment. So, right. so just right. be respectful and, and I, of the other town. What towns. I was trying to say <coughs> on yeah. this board going forward, if one of the other towns, you know, didn't feel that, you know, the raise was warranted or whatever, or couldn't afford or whatever, you know, I, I don't want to create an intention. That I, I, think I, would, I think I think. I would, I would hope that the Board of Oversight, if they didn't agree with uh, the Board of Selectmen in Deerfield or Personnel Committee, yeah. they would go to the okay. to the meeting and talk to them about it. Say we're having a hard time this year or something. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, or if or Deerfield could, if Deerfield could pay the raises and the other towns couldn't, or vice mm -hmm. versa, you know, I'm sure there would there'd be a conversation. I, I, I mean, I don't mind having that conversation. No, yeah, just, yeah. If, uh, That's how it was you know, envisioned. If they felt it wasn't whatever, let's just say, not one of them. You know, yeah, the, yeah. the, the, the I, I way it's set up, the people are still <coughs> in the of Deerfield, so not to try to segregate them out would just bring us back. No, I appreciate, I appreciate, yeah. I, I appreciate yeah. you bringing that forward. That, that's yeah. a good point. <coughs> I, I think if, you know, we have to standard on one, standardize on one way, sure. 
and then move it forward. Sure. And, and if we have a concern, yeah. we need to go talk to the, whoever's on the BOS and Deerfield, or whoever's on the boo here, need to go over okay. and talk to them. Okay. Where they come here, whatever it has to happen. Good. You wanted a short meeting, that's all I got. Anything else? Tom? You did you take my motion last time. <laughs> I'll, now I'll, I'll, I'll give a motion. Yeah. I'll give a motion. Adjourn. All in favor. Aye. 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 Aye.